and Exhibit H to show you what we're doing on the horizon for our future priorities for career development. Um, and all of our employees can take advantage of this opportunities, what we call grow your own career, so empowering them to own their you know, their own career in the future. But if you look at the Exhibit H, and we're piloting this this year with our empowering our future leaders, but what it allows them to do, to do is to go through this cycle of first assessing for themselves, where are they? What feedback have they gotten from their leaders? Um, are they ready for a career change? And then the next phase would take them through goal setting, so clearly defining what it is that they want to do in when making a career change. And that brings them around to if exploring opportunities to get themselves in front of people to show their work and what their capabilities are in our organization. And as we move around to the development part of the cycle, We've um, developed a, um, a template, it's called a career path plan that walks them through uh, actions that they define for themselves to get them where they have set their goals to be. Um, and then moving along to socializing. We know that networking is a very important part of you moving into the roles that you're seeking and then providing them with opportunities to showcase their work at the end. So we're piloting this, this year with our assistant principals or teachers who have applied for assistant principal roles who didn't necessarily get picked up this year um, so that they can give us feedback around this process and then we're we're going to be ready to launch this in the summer and make it available at the fingertips of all of our employees in the district you're welcome wonderful presentation i'd like to also echo my fellow board members remarks this evening um, our entire board is very proud of all the leadership initiatives that were um, spoke about and reported on tonight. So thank you all. We appreciate you. This will take us to the next level as it already is. So we appreciate you. Moving on, we will now convene in closed session under the Texas Open Meetings Act, Chapter 551 and those sections listed in the agenda and for the purpose of private consultation with the board's attorney on any or all subject matters authorized by law. We are now convened in closed session.